What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Simon Rochford. I'm a headshot and portrait photographer based out of Vancouver, BC, and I want to talk to you about how you can look your best in photos. Now, I've been working as a headshot photographer for years now, and I've had countless clients come into my studio who have been initially quite nervous and concerned about how they look in front of the camera, and then come out super confident and happy with the end product that they have. Now, how do I achieve this? Well, it's not just it's not just the lighting, it's not just the gear, it's not just having a studio or the makeup or anything along those lines, but it's the tips and tricks that I show them during the headshot session that really helps them to look and feel their best in front of the camera. I spend a huge amount of time with my clients coaching them on how to look and feel their best, and I wanna share some of those tips with you. Now, one of the biggest things people say when they come in is that they're generally maybe not happy with one or two physical features. Some people may think that they're a little bit overweight or usually their thing is is that they think the camera adds 10 pounds. Now, I don't really believe that. I believe there's an element of compression involved, but it's also how we pose. That's the biggest thing. So if we just stand normally for a second like this, there's I'm standing normally and you can see there's not a huge kind of jawline being shown. Now, if I, if I stick it back like this, this is pretty pretty bad, there's a lot of double chin action going on. But if I work with my jawline and push my forehead out, so I go from here to here and point the chin down, you can see there's a much more distinct jawline going on. To help you see this a little bit better, if I stand sideways, can see where the jaw and the neck is. So this is back, this is a little exaggerated, but then it's pushed out. Now, this is not hugely comfortable to do. I'll say that straight off the bat. But in general, I say to people in front of the camera, if it feels weird, you're doing it right. If it's uncomfortable, you're doing it right. What that does is it kind of helps stretch the skin over the jaw and that really helps with a great definition. Now for, for someone like myself where, you know, there is a little bit of extra fat and skin going there, it works perfectly. But what you want to do with this work, with working the jawline in a headshot is you don't just want to stick it straight out. It looks a little bit strange. What you want to do is bring the chin down ever so slightly and then you're looking straight at the camera. Because if your chin is up, that's what a lot of people do. They try to elongate the neck. They put, the, they put their chin up, then, well, you just get a picture of all neck and chin. And that's not really the point in the headshot. Then it'd be called a neck shot, which is not really a thing. So that's a little tip you're able to utilize for yourselves is keeping those shoulders back, pushing that forehead out, and putting the chin down. Now, if you're a photographer, how do you communicate that with someone? Because I've had people come into the studio and initially I say, okay, put your forehead out and they do this. Now, they're not wrong, their forehead is closer towards the camera, but they're looking all hunched up. So you really need to be quite specific on how you instruct people. I usually say to them, think of either doing a turtle impression, a chicken impression, or somebody recently mentioned an ostrich, which is a new animal to chuck in. All of them, they can kind of get an idea, or particularly with a turtle, is the forehead is out or the head is out and that can really help. That mixed with pushing the shoulders and pinching the shoulder blades together, together, make sure that you don't end up with any of this action over here, which you can kind of see this way. So pinch shoulder blades, forehead out, chin down. But then if you don't hold those, the shoulders come forward and someone looks like the hunchback in Notre Dame, which is not really a good look, unless you're going for that. So anyway, that's a little tip for you guys just to uh, utilize in your photographs. If you're a headshot photographer or portrait photographer, that's awesome. Let me know how this works uh, in your photos of yourself, but also of, uh, of other people. And let me know if there are any other tips and techniques that you want me to cover in future videos. Thanks very much for tuning in. See ya.